yeah so today's the day I switched this beauty to this crooked ass shit let's see how shit goes so I got everything ready right here and today's the day I gotta change that steering wheel over there see how that shit's crooked so uh, first things you gotta do is um before you unplug the battery you gotta check out if your tires are well they're fucking straight and right now you can see that they're straight and see how that shit's fucked up she's all crooked so what you gotta do is first uh, you gotta plug the battery yeah do that shit first and then you gotta take out the wheel that's about it i'll show you how to do that shit right now okay so an hour has passed and i haven't done shit turns out that this tool set actually i don't have nothing that fits it so i have to go back to autozone and get a bunch of shit got a 15 you're gonna need a 15 and a 16. the 13 or 14 i just bought it just because uh just in case later and this shit i don't know why i bought it just for the fuck of it so yeah I'm actually gonna get started on it now and it's pretty easy now. What you gotta do is um right here it's easy to take out. You just put your fingers and fingertips on top of it, right here in the back, and just pop it off. And right there. And just set it right there gently. And right here, this piece is connected to this piece right here. Where the fuck is it? It's a 16. Actually, just now loosen it up. So you're gonna do it with the other hand. It's better. So everything pops up, and then it'll be easier right there. Right there, you just take it off. Right there. So I'll put this right here. And then this shit. You actually just gotta pop it in right there. And once you pop it in right there, you gotta find the right screw to fit in those small holes right there. And um, I think it's gonna be the last ones right here. You just jam it in right there. One hole right there. Make sure they're tight. So these are gonna be 14 milliliter. Let me check it out. Let me get that one right there. All right. After make sure both of these are tight, what you gotta do right here is um you gotta loosen it up a little bit and put a bushing in it. And with this uh tool set uh it came with this right here. So you're actually gonna put it in right there and then just tighten it up so like it pr it'll pressure out the steering wheel. Okay, so after you pressure it, it has to be like this. And you just keep on turning it, pushing it in forward so the wheel can pop out. With this, you gotta use one hand or you can just use your feet, it's gonna be better. You just gotta keep on tightening it so it'll come off. And after you keep on doing it, it'll pop off. Like right here, it already popped off. So that's how it'll look. And then, yeah, after you do that shit, here comes the good part, putting in the new steering wheel. And here is the new steering wheel that I got. Some people will say it's nothing much, but me, I fuck with it. I wanna do it that old school muscle car vibe, so why not? It's a chain steering wheel from Forever Sharp and it seems pretty good, everything's pretty good. This doesn't come with the adapter kit so I have to buy a separate. I bought it from Grant. It comes with everything, like how to do it and everything. 
I was actually thinking about getting a GT from Grant, but um, I saw this shit and I was like, fuck it, let me get this shit. I'll show you how to put it on right now and I think how it works. Okay, so I was watching a little bit of videos of how to do this shit and it was uh, kind of trippy, so like, still in the learning process of it, but um, I guess you could say it's fairly simple. You could just put this right here. Right here it says top. You just put it right there. And these are from the connectors to the horn. Uh, my corn horn don't work, so I ain't really chipping on that, but um, I'm still gonna keep it like that. And this is right here so you can cover it. Right here's the hole so you can put the wires in through there. So I'm gonna go do that right now. So after you do it like that, then comes in the steering wheel and the same steering wheel you put those wires through that and go hold right there. Which I'm gonna do right now. Well, so it's already nighttime and I didn't record myself doing the process because it was a bitch and um, yeah, that shit was a fucking bitch, man. I had to look at some videos of how to do it and it was actually quite kind of easy and shit, but like I never done it before. It was a it was a process right there. It was like connecting these wires and all that shit and everything came out pretty good actually. And I'm done already. This is how it looks so far. It looks pretty good. And turns out um the screw from inside that shit was fucking twisted, so that's why that shit would be fucking uh that shit was crooked basically. And I just straightened it out and everything's pretty good now. So I just got a this is a cap right here from Forever Sharp. This that still was pretty clean, I fuck with it no doubt. So I just gotta put this shit in. So, cause this is the connected to the horn. I just pop it in right there. It'll be pretty good. So here it is, man. Finally fucking finished. And the steam wheel on the new Fox body. Yeah, fuck with it. I don't know works, so I ain't gonna really use, be using that much shit. But I'll fuck it. So yeah, I drove this shit for a while now, and I fuck with it. The steam wheel's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have to get used to the, like, the fucking steel of it, but fuck it. Everything's pretty good, actually. I fuck with it, no doubt. And yeah, and already did the Morticia, the new, the new cast wheel, I think you can say, or some shit like that. But yeah. lovers in them but I'm gonna decide I'm 50 50 on like if I should do it or not because on this shit it got a lot of torque and I do go fast all the time so I'm not sure like it will come off or what's up if not then I'll see what's up and do what else I have to do fuck it fuck it